Hello everyone, System Chalk here with, I believe, the sixth episode of uh, The Priest, Harold Davidson, um, for a cultist simulator. And hello to the likely YouTube uh, reviewer due to the um, automated flagging for calling it The Priest. It's the name of the DLC. Sorry. Um, Alright, so we, for the better part of the, of the previous episode, we've been trying to deal with the investigation against us. And in this particular case, uh, we don't have to worry about the notoriety anymore. However, let's think about how we got into the situation in the first place. The, um, we had a, basically we did a sermon. Uh, that sermon uh, produced kind of excitement. And then the congregation went out and did something that kind of got, uh, got the attention, uh, or at least generated notoriety, which of course uh, would draw the attention of the Suppression Bureau. So what I don't want to do is say, okay, well, the notoriety is gone, so now we're free to, <clears throat> to do whatever we want. As long as there's an investigation going on, any notoriety becomes a risk, and particularly because I don't have a way of bringing more people into the Church of the Bright Edge, um, which is our cult. We got that from... <clears throat> from uh, the previous the cult society dedicated to the hours of struggle and conquest. This is from the previous uh, playthrough. <clears throat> but uh, in essence, we are going to be waiting a little while before we, we do another sermon again. But we have got something else that we can do. We can do some painting. We've actually wound up with a bit of money. And the other problem that we're going to try and solve is this recruitment issue. Uh, the best way for me to solve the recruitment issue right now is to just simply get some edge lore in this game. Um, I can use uh, Despair because that does have an edge aspect to it, but it's um, <clears throat> that's obviously unreliable, and of course it can be quite dangerous if we have a season of um, a season of uh, of um, Despair coming up. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I've been a little sick, so I may be clearing my throat, throat, throat quite a bit. Uh, we also see a season of sickness coming up, so as much as I would like to be reading some more books, let's try and save some money uh, by generating vitality through fresh air and exercise. We'll get that done right now. We're not doing anything with our talk verb because the uh, that'll most of the things we want to do with the talk verb will generate um, uh, mystique, which we're trying to keep to a minimum. <clears throat> and essentially, right now, we just kind of need to run out the investigation. But there's a couple of other things that we can do in the, in the meantime. For instance, one thing I've been doing is just buying some more books. I'm tempted to keep buying until we're either at five funds, and that's just because that's the number we started with. There's nothing special about having five funds. Um, so either until we're at some limit of money, <clears throat> or until we get an edge book. Okay, buzzing in the brain will turn into restlessness. Restlessness is something that I can paint, although I already have other objects that I can paint. Uh, the other alternative is that uh, restlessness is something that can decay into dread, and decaying into dread we can use that in recruitment. This is one of the more controlled ways that I'm able to accomplish this. Because, of course, if it's, if it's restlessness and I know a season of despair is coming up, then I paint it away. And if um, it's restlessness and we know a season of despair is not coming up, then we can use that as an input to recruitment. But again, I don't really have a whole lot that I'm doing with my followers right now. Uh, in fact, if anything, I would like to try and bring in more candidates for followers, and that's going to require me to generate some mystique. So I'm going to leave that uh, be, and we'll just see between the well and the temple of the wheel. Let's try the well, and we got a vitality for our trouble. So <clears throat> that would have been nice to have a second before, where um, we were, uh, you know, <laughs> trying to avoid the um, the cost of medicine. But maybe we'll try and turn this into a lesson learned um you know, given enough time. We've got three minutes in which uh, in which to make something of this, so. Exercise or something rarer has invigorated me. The well in the wood is sacred to the grail, the hour that hungers, and to the velvet, the hour that guards secrets. Tonight as I approached, it heaved with the velvet's moss, str uh, struggling waves of deep and vibrant green, pulsing again and again from its throat. It surged around my calves, rose to my thighs, and this morning, I still feel the velvet's breath strong within me. All right. So I think, <clears throat> well, I don't even have the option of going back to the wood for now, so we'll leave that be. Um, this is more of a passion painting and I've got a bit of staleness, so I think I'll skip uh, paying for the paints for now. And we've got On the White by Sol uh, Solomon Husher. So, oops, <laughs> again, we'll pick up, pick up another book. It takes time to sort the gold from the dross, the wheat from the chaff, the blood from the water. If I buy enough books, I'll find something interesting. 
Story of my life. <clears throat> One thing I could try and do would be, um, you know, sleep with reason. Uh, I don't think that's... I don't know. I think that has the same risk as uh, with Dread. So Season of Despair is coming up. Probably means we wouldn't have been able to do the recruitment, so maybe we made the right call there. I've created something both distinctive and beautiful. It will very likely enhance my reputation. Not exactly the thing that I wanted, um, but I was trying to get rid of the staleness. So I think i got to leave the high passion paintings uh, aside for the, the time being. Otherwise, I'm never going to finish the... Um, never going to finish the work. <clears throat> Let's go back to Moreland's for some uh, another book. Then again, I do need to keep... Um, I do need to make some money. Alright, so we got a fascination I need to deal with. Oof, that's three mystique we got. Okay, we took a big step back there. Fair enough. And I still have the... Uh, <laughs> still have the fevered imagination. Um, as a result. Okay. Well, here's what I think I'm going to do as an alternative. <clears throat> Let's take uh, Lantern. So Lantern is an aspect... I also don't recall... I think I said that I didn't read these, so let's just get our first level lore read uh, with what we have. So an occult scrap. Secret histories are layered beneath the one that we know, like notes in a rare wine. This is a detail from one of those histories. The knock lore, a locksmith secret. Sooner or later, every locksmith has the dream. Now we recite its seven phases. A red secret. Some words are spelt correctly only when the proper ink is used. A sexton secret. Certain knowledge, it is said, can be expressed only through the particular quality of a silence. It has been suggested that one can re only read such knowledge with one's eyes closed, but only by mischievous commentators. <clears throat> we can do a barber's warning. The power of the wood enjoys the separation of the lock from the scalp. For attention, burn it. For opportunity, bury it. And finally, the Watchman's Secret. It has been expressed like this. Each hour has its color, but color only exists... Uh, sorry, color exists only where there is light. Uh, okay, so there's a couple things I'm going to do. First of all, let's kill the fascination. Um, so it did occur to me that I don't just have to paint. I, I am really stubborn about wanting to get rid of this. Um, also, I feel like I'm missing a, uh, a passion. Oh, here it is. Um... <clears throat> I'm really stubborn about getting rid of this um, staleness, so I'll wait on the one passion. But we we do are, we do need to sort of stop generating all this extra mystique because otherwise we're just going to be in a cycle forever. What I might do is uh, gen do some more sermons, um, but do some more sermons that don't generate sort of the the fervor that the uh, the others do. I am sadly going to have to give up my vitality or my health. Uh, but we do have a vitality sh to show for it. I've neglected my studies, but I stand a little straighter. Okay, let's see if we can recover some of this glimmering. <clears throat> so we've already got one lesson learnt, and we've got enough for two more. I believe we'll need four for the upgrade. Alright, so there's one passion. Uh, as far as what I can paint about, let's just paint with the glimmering, because we already have the extras. The Orchid Transfigurations, Volume 2. So, still have some money, so we will go back to Moreland's. This should have an impact. Alright, there's the Affliction, so in 16 seconds we'll be able to deal with that. Oh, I didn't realize I had an extra Vitality kicking around. Nope, these are both the same. Sorry, I just wasn't paying attention. <clears throat> Excuse me. And a season of ambitions coming up, so if I want to paint away a restlessness, I can do that. Otherwise, I can use the dread in a recruitment. All right, so we've got composure. I'm going to use this vitality for the... Hmm, yeah. It probably would have been a good idea for me to try and make... So, as you can see, once sickness comes in, it really does involve uh, switching switching all of our priorities around to deal with it. I tend not to like being in that position, so an effort to try and upgrade my vitality uh, probably is a good idea. Um, I'm just not in the... I'm not really in the state for it right now. So, we'll, we'll give it some time. I have not shirked. 
even with one passion. And we have got victor the victory of crowd. So this actually goes right to the top of my reading list, given that this will give us the edge lore. And uh, we are at five funds, so I'm going to wait until we have a little money before I go on any more adventures. So let's get Pope Clifton to go search out the city. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is work I can be proud of. Oh. Uh, my recent work has attracted a couple of callers. With luck, something will sell. Alright. Of course, we have another mystique to show for it. Oh god, two mystique. Alright. We're still kind of running ahead. Uh, still have the staleness, regrettably. And there are more windows to my soul, but sunlight is not the only thing that passes through a window. Alright, so... What we're going to do now... Um... Sorry, wrong button. Okay, so we need four lessons learned and then something more. Um, <clears throat> we'll worry about the something more later. I think we're in a good position to... I think we're in a good position to go for our upgraded passion, so let's give it a shot. Uh, unfortunately, old and fa happy far off things has triggered, so Moth finds light in the dark, and so do I. So if I was trying to avoid painting, um, well, so much for that effort. Um, what I am going to do, though, so here's an example. I probably, I tried, probably tried to get a little too clever as far as the painting went, but here's a way that I can try and keep things a little more relaxed. This is not guaranteed uh, to work all the time, but it's it's enough of it's enough of a mitigation of risk that I think we can let the mystique die out uh, this way. So, an appointment to a quiet parish. As long as I do not draw the attention of the bishop through dereliction or scandal, I can draw a living here. Now, I'm not quite sure where dereliction comes in because we, this isn't timed. We can kind of do um, we can work whenever we want, but. Earn a living or practice the invisible arts. So, again, remembering what's required for the uh, for this slot, we need reason, health, or passion. Um, we can put in a doctrine. I do not believe it is required. And then fervor if we want to take advantage of that. But I believe the only thing that was actually required of us is passion. So, conduct a service. I will improvise my sermon. Now, this time, we're not going to put a doctrine in. That's going to lower the chance of uh, the fervor, but that will have, um, that'll potentially have advantages uh, for us here. So, in this case, this is just going to be 50 seconds as opposed to 60. If I used reason, it would be a 60 second wait. And um, I do believe it is possible to generate some fervor, but in general, this will just uh, earn me uh, a small income, which is sort of a point. Uh, sorry, I was going to send Pope Clifton out to search the city again. Well, I guess I could do Street Strange by Moonlight, but... <clears throat> again, we're sort of repairing from the the mishap with the um, Suppression Bureau. Okay, I don't want to hire a hulking fellow, so we'll just leave them be. There's a fleeting reminiscence. And we're going to have two restlessness on the table. So this may be a time where I want to try and bring someone in. It is a season of silence coming up. So I think I will let one of these decay into dread. And then we'll worry about the next step. The sick room grows close and stale. Time to get up. So this vitality, I don't think we're going to be able to recover. It's going to take us 15 seconds of studying. So given that there's no other vitality on the ground. Actually, I guess the one... Uh, I couldn't do that with restlessness. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can study with the restlessness. But yeah, given that it's 15 seconds, this vitality is going to... Um, I'm not going to be able to generate another vitality in the time needed. All right, this is what I was worrying about. So every once in a while, uh, the congregation listens closely. I have shared no secret doctrine today. So... Sometimes my words and those I have borrowed move my congregation beyond mere concentration to exaltation. So in this case here, uh, I was wanting to avoid that outcome uh, and it triggered. So silly me for saying <laughs> it's a very rare thing that happens and I, I shouldn't worry about it. Um, there is the possibility we generate a notoriety out of this. Um, so there might be a way that I can avoid that, but 
think I just want to go back to painting at this point. No, I don't know. Let's... Can't happen more than once. I need to pay the bills. Yeah, no edge there. There are more windows in my soul, but sunlight is not the only thing that passes through a window. Okay, so we've got... Yeah, 111 seconds before we get rid of our last... Or before we lose our first lesson learnt, so that's enough time for the study to work. If this generates a notoriety, I'm going to be so mad. Better not. I must be careful of the company I keep. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh boy. Um, I think I'm I think I'm hooped on this. Um, it's like a one in four chance. Uh, and I am currently paint. Well, no, I can actually disguise this notoriety. Okay. Uh, I do I do have a, a game plan for this. Unfortunately, I kind of need to do the whole. Uh, I need to do the whole. Um, routine again um, but let's let's see if we can dodge it the one bit of good news is is that I am going to be able to bring people into the Church of the Bright Edge once we study the victory of crowns so uh, it does mean that I'm gonna have a few more bodies I can throw out my problems to but let's you know again the world would have been it would have been nice to to have the world be differently we have to deal with the world as it is now so we're gonna chat about uh, the scrap we're going to uh, send Clifton out to uh, to find some people to enact regrettable necessities. And we will... So this is going to turn into a dread. Oh, another restlessness coming up. Okay, this is going to be tight on the timings. I might have found somewhere unusual. Okay, um, we are still going to go exploring. Not again. It's almost not worth it to try and generate the mystique at this point, but... Uh, so, unfortunately, I do need to paint in the 2.6 seconds. So, we're going to cram this full of repute. Actually... No, we're going to paint it right away. Maybe it's possible that the exaltation always produces notoriety. We're about to find out, I suppose. Um, we're already going to have more than one... Mm, Get the job done. I'm gonna hold off on hiring. Let's wait until we find a level five to to hire. All right, there's another lesson learnt. Oh, but I'm using up my. Uh, hmm. I may not be able to upgrade my passion after all. congregation has donated generously and they haven't limited those donations to the collection plate. All right. A little bit of luck. <laughs> um, I don't think this mystique will generate in time. It's actually some extra passion might be a good idea here. Worthless. I produce nothing of value or significance at all. I should be ashamed of myself. Still, if I have a reputation, it still might sell. Okay, so Mystique got picked up. So in this case, I'm just 
just trying to think of the best way to handle it. Again, what we want to do is we want to uh, produce as much mystique as possible. Um, so I think by upgrading this, I'm more or less signing myself up for one, one risk of the notoriety being picked up. I can't recall if Grail works here. Folly. Hmm. Who desires but acts not breeds pestilence and unreason. Cut the hair, cut my bonds, cut my snip, snip, snip. Let's do a red secret here. Who desires but acts uh, not breeds pestilence. So that's going to be 60 seconds when we can't... Well, actually, that's not true. We could paint with a... Pe no, but I can't use my reputation in that painting. Okay, so we are running a bit of a risk here that we're going to get uh, caught. And Season of Despair coming up in 42 seconds, so... I think I have to get rid of this Restlessness. We'll do that right now. So if we take our Passion and we put the Restlessness in the Yearning slot... I'm going to send Clifton out because we'll probably need someone to... Um, <clears throat> we're probably going to need somebody to uh, deal with the um, evidence. <laughs> We're just waiting for the top verb to get available. It's uh, going to be close. Ooh, really, really testing me with the. Uh, the restlessness. Okay, so we got Saliba coming in. Now, normally here, I would be uh, immediately trying to generate another mystique. But in this particular case, I want to get rid of the dread. So we're going to take the Church of the Bright Edge. We're going to take somebody who we want to bring in. Let's take Sylvia. And then we'll take the dread. So recruit an acquaintance by invoking Edge. Sylvia, for a reminder, Sylvia lost her eye in the woods when she was nine years old. Every year at Candlemas, she returns to the place she buried it. This one is ready. Street Strange by Moonlight doesn't help me too much right now, but we will um, go back to the ex uh, go back to exploring. So here I can't afford to have any restlessness turn into dread for the next minute. We'll see whether or not that applies to this one. Okay, and now my soul lies ready. Behold, they stand at my door and knock. If I hear any voice, I shall open the door, and they shall come in to me and sup with them, and they with me. So uh, we will eventually do the same with our uh, with our um, our reason, but right now we have bigger problems. Um, so I think one of the first things I probably want to do is more reliable recruitment. Uh, there is a temptation with he uh, healing as well, but I think let's let's focus on my current problem, which is trying to you know trying to deal with the suppression bureau and uh, likely evidence that will be. Um, will be turned against me. So, victory, uh, the victory of crowns. Erratic accounts by one Arun of the hunting and consumption of supposed immortals by shadowy cults of assassins, published in the late 19th century. The assassins are, according to Arun, the agents of a power called the Colonel, a soldier of the secret masters. The accounts go all the way back to Roman times. So I think we'll be okay with the restlessness. I don't recall if it's 30 seconds or 60. If it's 30 seconds, it's trouble. If it's 60, we're okay. I've sold a painting. I found a customer. She'll probably hang it in her spare bedroom and never look at it again, but her money is good. So we are definitely getting lucky as far as the, uh, as far as the painting is concerned. So... Probably my smartest bet here is just to extend the life of the notoriety and then throw a bunch of passion at the problem. So this will last. Restlessness flickers. A restless longing has me. I feel that I want to do something. What exactly? So this will outlive the dread. Um, 
Before they speak the words, the novice must sharpen a knife so it can separate a drifting thread, and it be not sharp enough, it will be the worse for them. Sylvia is now a believer. Sylvia has detailed knowledge of roof ridges, of the river at low tide, of Irish whiskey, and of conjuring tricks. So I'll move Sylvia up to the higher level there. Um, all right, so I might have used the restlessness for recruitment at some point, but there's two things that I want to keep in mind. One, uh, I am trying to I am trying to deal with the suppression bureau as best as I can, um, and two, uh, I want to um, uh, two I'm I'm going to essentially not need to use dread for um, recruitment anymore because we are going to have some edge lore. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run the investigation out as long as I possibly can. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the notoriety in. Um, but I think that's all I'm going to bring in. Um, because if memory serves, more passion is going to enhance my reputation, which is what I want right now. So we'll use the restlessness for inspiration. And what I should have done as well is talk about um, the scrap. So again, this leaves us pretty short on Mystique, but hopefully we're going to be generating a little bit as we go by. <laughs> My, <laughs> I've got a wonderful congregation. I'm sure, you know, under normal circumstances, I would be very happy <laughs> for it. But at the, at the current moment, they're a bit of a liability. Um, Okay, now this is potentially dangerous because the colors of... Uh, we, we are doing a lot of passion, and so high passion paintings can run into the problem, uh, can generate uh, fascination. So, the sun flickers like a shadow, dreams ripple behind the surface of mirrors. I must be careful not to drift from the waking world. Fascination may provoke visions. So we'll see if we have to deal with that. I do have the fleeting reminiscence... Uh, sorry, I have the fleeting reminiscence from the uh, season of despair, so it's not all lost there, but... I want to be a little careful. Arun's scholarship is dubious, but he, she, writes pithily. Incidents of sudden and violent death are interspersed with aphorisms. Hours don't dream, long try not to. And we got the knife secret. Uh, I don't think I ever read... Did I read the Sexton's secret? Mischievous commentators, the power of the wood enjoys... Okay, we definitely read that one. Uh, I don't know if I read the Watchman's secret, though. It has been expressed like this. Each hour has its color. The color exists only where there is light. And finally, the uh, knife secret. When our ancestors forged swords, taught the arts of martial movement, spoke curses on the eve of battle, all these things shared certain patterns. And this is what we will use to recruit the remaining uh, people into uh, the Church of the Bright Edge. But we will wind up doing that after... Uh, right now, we want to generate mystique through our, our talk verb. So it's going to be a bit of a wait on that. We'll continue to get uh, Pope Clifton to run out and try and find some... Find somebody to deal with evidence. All conviction, the world goes away. Once again, we send Clifton out. Exceptional work. This is something special. It may provoke a reaction. My recent work is considered significant. I may earn a living from this, but nothing is certain. Okay, so... We did get one mystique out of it. Oh, no, two. I'm going to throw the notoriety in right away. So this isn't a long-term solution, um, but I have enough... to run what actually I'm gonna give it a little bit of a wait so I'm put a couple seconds off the the notoriety while I do this for some reason I thought I had more pa oh that's right we picked it up on the well actually just as well we picked it up here uh Let's raise the chance that the 50 gets picked up. I also need to figure out what I want to paint with. Uh, let's do a painting of Enid. Nice. Made the most of that mystique. So again, I don't want to tuck away the, the notoriety forever. We still have um, quite a bit of time left on it, but it'd be nice to have a little bit more of a stack of mystique. Although, come to think of it, only one passion is not really going to do that, is it? 
still avoid paying for the paint. I have a feeling we're probably going to get a... Oh, actually, we don't have any staleness, so why not? Mirrors are calm, the sun is steady, the glory recedes. I'm saying if that means anything. And I should be using my study verb for other things. So, I have a few options available to me. If I would like, I could... Um, I could, you know, read some more of the lore. Uh, I could also sort of educate myself as far as languages are concerned, but I think probably right now I would like to boost my health a little bit because uh, we do tend to shift the strategy depending on what happens as far as, um, as far as, uh, like getting sick is concerned. Uh, so I'm going to do fresh air and exercise. It's not that hard to get the first, uh, the first level of it. But uh, that is the end of our time here to get today. So I know um, I'll just maybe say as a by way of exiting remarks, I know one of the disappointments for some people with the shorter episodes is um, episodes where we don't necessarily make a lot of progress. Um, to me, like this is kind of fun, right? Where you're like, okay, we'll just take a small chance with the sermon. You know, we won't we won't uh, put any lore in. You know, they're, they're, surely they won't generate a notoriety. Um, and not only did that happen, that happened twice. Uh, just fortunately, the second time it generated funds instead of notoriety. To me, this is just one of these, like, you, you have a laugh about it because, you know, it just, you, you, you couldn't script it better. Um, so, yes, this does mean that I'm going to have to spend a bit more time dealing with the Suppression Bureau. However, I do have some other plans. So that's why I wanted to end on just saying that we are going to be working towards our health because it's important to remember that while all of this has been going on we have moved up to notable scholarship and we now have the maximum level of passion we've got an open soul uh, which of course requires lore so if you look we've actually made very slow progress in terms of just getting the materials that we will use towards uh, our, our ascension um, but it's very subtle. Um, in fact, uh, some of you may be wondering, I know this came up on one of the more tutorial style videos, uh, where is your ambition? And you may notice that that's not present in the priest. And I believe it's not in it at all, but I, didn't, I don't want to say that too carefully. I have a reason for thinking why it is, but I'm going to wait until we start moving towards the proper ending for the priest before I, I sort of explain why I think it is the way that it is. But with all of that in mind, thank you very much for watching. As always, uh, I love seeing your comments, and you can, if you feel motivated to do so, if I've done a broadcast to give you the exaltation, feel free to leave uh, a like or a dislike. Um, but most of you have been very kind and left likes. Um, and yeah, as always, uh, there's the usual uh, subscription button if you have not uh, seen so. The plan is, however, to try and do a video uh, for all weekdays except Tuesday, which already has an Elder Scrolls episode. So I will see you in the next one. Have a good evening.